Hello, welcome back to my channel Electrical Concepts. I am Avikan Roy and today I am going to discuss on the topic switches used in power system switchgear. So as we all know what is switchgear, it is just an assembly or a combination of different equipments that are used for the purpose of protection, control and switching of the power system. Uh, so switches are uh, one of the major parts of switch gear so there are different kinds of switches used in power system for switching purpose so as you can see used to open or close an electrical circuit okay it performs the opening or closing of an electrical circuit then it can be used under loading or no load condition but not during fault so in normal case it is just used and that means in normal loading case or no load case or full load case half load case whatever but it cannot be a faulty condition for faulty condition circuit breakers are there but switches are not uh, dedicated for the faulty case it is only used during normal case and there are different kinds of switches available like air brake switch oil switch isolator or disconnector okay so but basically there are two categories one is air type and one is oil type okay air and oil these are two mediums okay i will come to that point later and this air brake switch and isolator both of them are coming under uh, the air medium or the air medium category and oil switch is different so first let's discuss air brake switch or the av switch what is this so it is opened or closed under loading condition okay air is used as the arc quenching medium as we, although it is a no, normal case normal full load case or normal half load case still there might be a chance that arc phenomena happen may happen that during the uh, opening of the switch okay, so for quenching that arc air is used as as a medium okay that is why it is called air brake switch that means that braking is done with the air as a medium okay and voltage withstanding and current carrying cap capacity are less because air is here air is used as the arc quenching medium uh, so uh, when it is air you cannot afford to have a larger voltage or current carrying cap capability uh, because of the insulation uh, risk okay so normally you will get to see this kind of switch in DTR structures DTR means distribution transformer structures so normally in your locality beside the roads you will get to see an H shape uh, structure which is called DTR structure where the transformer is placed okay and just above the transformer there are fuses there are air brake switches and at the top there are lightning arresters so that kind of structure you will get to see in localities uh, near to your house which is called DTS structure or distribution transformer structure so there you will get to see the AV switch is used just uh, below the I guess just below the lightning arrester and after AV switch fuse comes and after fuse your transformer comes okay and AV switch can be perform uh, can be controlled uh, manually or by uh, or by uh, it can be performed automatically or it can also be done manually and in DTS structures it is performed manually you will get to see one rod comes down uh, at the bottom by using that rod or that handle you can uh, disconnect that switch okay so this is uh, a brief idea of AB switch but when it comes to oil switch it is also opened or closed under loading condition but here oil is used as, as the arc quenching medium unlike AV switch here oil is used to quench the arc during breaking of the circuit or the opening of the circuit okay and as because oil has a larger insulation strength or the dielectric strength compared to air voltage withstanding cap capability for this kind of switch is higher compared to AV switch okay so now I will come to the isolator or the disconnector. It is also one kind of air switch or the air brake switch. Actually, sometimes this uh, term 
actually sometimes this uh, this term isolator and the AB switch they are used interchangeably okay but there is a little difference um, that isolator can only be used uh, during uh, no load condition only it can never be used under loading condition unlike AB switch this is the main difference but still somewhere I found that isolator and the AB switch these two words are used interchangeably in a way that they are same but actually there is a difference and this is the difference okay isolator can never be used under no load uh, under uh, loading condition it is always used in no load condition okay and it is it actually isolates a portion for maintenance purpose of circuit breakers okay so always remember isolator doesn't have that arc quenching uh, capacity it cannot quench the arc if you try to operate it uh, with loading case it may burn it may get damaged because it doesn't have the arc quenching property in AV switch it has arc horns so using that two arc horns it is it is it it, it uh, quenches the arc but isolator doesn't have that kind of facility so always remember while using the isolator always first open the circuit breaker then open the isolator okay for maintenance purpose similarly before closing isolator first close your circuit breaker then close the isolator okay this pattern is followed always so that's all about uh, this uh, the isolator or the disconnector okay and one more thing um, is that AB switch is mainly used in DTS structures for whenever we you need to uh, perform the maintenance or replacement or the checking or repairing the transformers uh, okay but isolator is mainly used with the circuit breakers while perform the, performing the maintenance of circuit breakers isolators are used but in AB switch it is only it is mainly used for the transformers isolators are mainly used for the circuit breakers okay both of them are purpose, uh, serving the same purpose uh, which is iso which is just the isolation providing isolation but one is performing under loading case and one is performing under no load case that's it and i hope you have enjoyed this video please like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you